Since the announcement of Celebrity Cruise's newest ship, Celebrity Edge, we've been looking forward to testing out this brand new class of ship. We began planning this cruise over a year and a half ago, and of course, we had some pretty high expectations for this innovative new vessel. After sailing a seven-day Western Caribbean cruise, we are back with our Celebrity Edge Caribbean Cruise Review. The new terminal in Fort Lauderdale is beautiful. It offered easy embarkation, with the entire check-in and security processing taking just over five minutes. The same held true for disembarking seven days later, as we were from room to taxi in less than 15 minutes. Tendering in Grand Cayman, on the other hand, was not as smooth as we had hoped. The magic carpet and destination gateway did not live up to our expectations. While the tender boats themselves were definitely an upgrade, they were no match for the choppy seas. Given the size of the ship, it's surprising that there are only two pools, with one of them being located indoors in the adult-only solarium. The main pool is on the spruced-up resort deck. During our cruise, we found that there were plenty of space to go around for all cruisers wanting the sun time, despite there being only one outdoor pool. There are also two martini-shaped whirlpools located on the resort deck, offering more options for cruisers looking to relax on sea days. With lounges located on both sides of deck 14 and starboard side on deck 16, we never had too much difficulty finding a seat, even on those busy sea days. Not to mention, the butterfly wings also made for a nice photo op. In our opinion, Celebrity Cruises has always offered some of the best service of the major cruise lines. Being a new ship, we were skeptical that the level of service we have come to love and appreciate would be delivered. We are happy to report that despite the changes and new options offered on this class of vessel, service remains stellar. There were friendly bar servers and wait staff and timely room attendants. Even with the new celebrity select dining, there were never issues. We are glad to see that service was one area the company did not sacrifice on the new ship. Prior to our cruise, we had read reviews that reported there was a lack of activities during the day. With only two sea days, we found plenty of things to do throughout the ship. There are different areas like Eden and the rooftop garden, which offer leisure games and puzzles to play. The club on deck four and five also had board games and Xbox to play at various times. There are also many celebrity life activities like trivia, dance classes, arts and crafts, movies on the big screen, and new additions, including our favorite, the tabletop maze. Not to mention a laser maze and even archery. Of course, there are also four fee activities like deal or no deal, wine and alcohol tastings, and much more. When Celebrity Cruises revealed there'd be four main dining rooms, each with an exclusive menu, we opted to switch to the new Celebrity Select Dining Plus. With Celebrity Select Dining Plus, you can make reservations at any of the four restaurants pre-cruise, or just walk up whenever you wanted to. Any worry we had about this program after our experiences with Dynamic Dining were quickly eliminated by night two. The food in the main dining room was leaps and bounds above food you typically find on other cruise lines. We never encountered any long lines or waits. Kudos to Celebrity Cruises for attempting something new and having it work out right out of the gate. It was nice to have different restaurants, each with unique decor and atmosphere, while still receiving the same impeccable service and delicious food. There were several new specialty dining options on the ship, and we made it our mission to test out many of them during our cruise. We thoroughly enjoyed our meals and service at the Fine Cut Steakhouse, with both of us commenting that it was probably the best steakhouse we've ever eaten at on a ship. We were also impressed with the brand new La Petite Chef and Friends dinner and show occurring in Le Grand Bistro. This digitally enhanced dining experience had some of the best food on the ship and is something we definitely try again on another celebrity cruise. While we did also enjoy the breakfast and lunch at Le Grand Bistro, we believe the pricing needs to be reworked. The same goes for the rooftop garden. This perfectly situated outdoor restaurant had inconsistent food along with a hefty cover charge of $45 for a barbecue dinner. Celebrity Cruises has always offered a better buffet experience than other brands in our opinion. While not huge fans of the style of dining, the Ocean View Cafe on Celebrity Edge was a good size, well laid out, and delivered a large variety of fresh options for breakfast and lunch. We did not eat there for dinner, so we can't comment on that. The new Eden Cafe was also a nice alternative, offering breakfast and lunch 
with a limited menu of sandwiches and other quick service items. We like to think of this venue like your Panera Bread at sea. Along with the above mentioned casual dining spots, there was also small bites at the Spa Cafe and burgers and fries at the Mass Grill served every day. Each night of the cruise, there was a pretty standard list of activities. In the main theater, there was an early and late show each evening. There was also a game show occurring in the club most times around 8 p.m., with our favorites being Yes or No and the Caption That game show. After the main theater show, there was usually live music throughout the ship, a movie under the stars up in the rooftop garden, or a theme party, including the silent disco and the resort deck nocturnal white party. There was also late night comedy on two occasions. On several nights of our cruise, Eden was turned into an other world with revelations, a performance art interactive experience, which honestly is a bit unexpected and not for everyone. While those nighttime activities ended between 11 p.m. and midnight, there was always a late night DJ playing music somewhere around the ship. Perhaps the most ambitious change on this new class of ship was the entertainment. Celebrity Edge boasts a newly designed main theater with high definition panoramic LCD screens and a circular stage offering more engaging possibilities than a typical theater setup. Along with three new signature production shows, there were two new headliner productions and two traditional headliner acts, which were both comedians on our sailing. The three new production shows created specifically for Celebrity Edge were Kaleidoscope, The Jewelry Box, and A Hot Summer Night's Dream. These shows range from entertaining to average to sort of cheesy. A Hot Summer Night's Dream was a mix of singing and acrobatics, all enhanced by the stage and digital screen, and was perhaps our favorite show. The two headliner shows were the purpose and hype. Both performers were extremely talented, but hype just seemed more fitting for a cruise ship. Like anything new, it takes some time to adjust, so we applaud this attempt at offering a variety of new, cutting-edge theater acts. This category was difficult to rate. Given the size of the ship, we felt that there should have been more diverse bars and lounges. On the other hand, we agreed that the bars and lounges on Celebrity Edge were nice enhancements from similar venues on the line's other ships. The centrally located martini bar with this large art installation was a place to be during the evenings, so the extra space was a welcome addition. The club boasted a specialty cocktail menu and unique entertainment each night of the cruise. The Eden Bar was another indoor alternative with beautiful colors and decor, but we were not fans of many of the specialty cocktails nor the nightly performances. Many of these drinks are also priced above the $15 premium beverage package allotment. The Sunset Bar wrapped around the aft of the ship with a similar menu and vibes as other ships, though it did feel a little crowded. The Resort Deck's Prison Bar and the Magic Carpet were also nice outdoor spaces. While there were very few letdowns on this trip, the new Infinity Veranda Stateroom was one category that did not meet our expectations. The noticeably larger bathrooms offered a manageable shower and increased maneuverability. However, given that there is supposed to be 20% extra space in these staterooms, it was difficult for us to believe. Unfortunately, neither of us found the new balcony setup to be an improvement either. While it did make the room feel more open, the balcony itself felt more closed in, reducing instead of increasing our connection with the ocean. The technological enhancements and added outlets were great, but did not make up for everything else. If we sailed on the Edge Class again, we would opt to book one of the few traditional balcony rooms that are available on this ship. We're used to cruising on the world's largest ships. While Celebrity Edge is a larger ship in Celebrity Cruises fleet, we never felt the crowds. Finding lounge chairs on the uniquely designed resort deck was not difficult, even during peak times. Dining areas were never too busy, and the new Celebrity Select Dining Plus worked out smoothly. Finding seats at the theater and other events never proved to be a problem either, as long as you showed up at least 20 minutes before the start time. With excellent dining, elegant design, and personalized service, Celebrity Edge offered one of the best Caribbean cruise experiences. While the ship does not have the bells and whistles of newer mega ships, the line's investment in other amenities 
and staffing was a welcome trade-off. For those wanting some fun in the sun, the resort deck was a trendy escape with a pool that was never crowded and had plentiful bar sap making the rounds. Our favorite outdoor space was a rooftop garden, offering live music, a variety of lawn games, and plentiful seating. This tranquil space was a nice retreat away from the pool deck. The cabin design was pretty standard, but we felt the line missed the mark with the infinity balcony. Though, the ability to control lights, blinds, temperature, and TV from the app was great. Even though it might not be best in the industry, the more modern entertainment on Celebrity Edge and the innovative stage design was a welcome enhancement for the cruise line. The original production shows and resident headliner acts demonstrated the line's commitment to improving its main theater shows. With four new complimentary restaurants, we were concerned that Celebrity Select Dining Plus would result in long lines and reduced service. Happily, we were wrong on both accounts. Each dining room offered unique decor, a few exclusive menu items, and attentive staff. It's very apparent that Celebrity Cruises is trying to woo a younger crowd with this new class of ship. And we believe that they have succeeded without stepping too far beyond the comfort zone of the more traditional cruisers. For cruisers looking for a ship with premium offerings, few children, and excellent dining, we would highly recommend Celebrity Edge. And that is our Celebrity Edge Caribbean Cruise Review. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Have you sailed on this innovative ship? Let us know your review by dropping a comment down below. I'm DB from EatSleepCruise.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below so you get updates when we put out brand new videos. You can also find us all over social media at EatSleepCruise. And thanks again for watching.